Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting a beachscape and I will be using this watercolor paper from Arsh. It is called Press Watercolor Paper 300 GSM and I did cut it from a sheet into smaller, uh, smaller size sheets. So one of the parts I'm using today and I'm also gluing it onto MDF board just to I, I guess um, prevent it from warping and first thing I'm gonna do is do my sketch and sketch will be available for download from my website so there is a link in the description box if you want to use the sketch download the sketch you can definitely do that and I did use a quite dark uh, pencil so I'm gonna use this needed eraser to lighten it and with this larger flat brush from Raphael I will first wet the entire paper. I'm using quite a amount of the water and I'm just leaving it on the side to soak in that water just to that's an awesome thing with Arsh you can definitely use it like that and uh, leave it to soak in the water it does make it a lot better it stays uh, damp and slightly wet for a longer time and water doesn't sit on top but just soaks it in I did uh, prepare my paints while I left it on the side and I'm using my sets these are earth and sky sets and you can find them on my website all the colors are listed there so names of the, sometimes you guys have been asking me about the colors of the names and I'm definitely sure it's not gonna help you at, at all because the colors won't tell you anything the names won't tell you anything so I'm just gonna call them turquoise blue and yellow so I guess that's it you will find you can find the chart on my website so maybe you can just compare it to your watercolors and that is how you can choose your colors I did use a light wash of blue and went over the entire paper just a little bit more on top of the sky for the water and in the lower part where the sand is just to create a little um, undertone for my painting and also using some pinkish color yellow for the sky and some grayish tone mix of blue and I guess brown dark brown for the sand now I'm using a lighter brown mixed in with some yellow to create the I guess these are some grasses on the beach and you can see I'm just blocking in the I guess the shapes and not really trying to paint any details at this moment I do want this to be just the first layer I left it to dry completely and now on top my paper is now fully dry I am painting in a little bit more of the details but this is going to be a loose beachscape so I will not use detail brushes I'm, you can see that I'm using only this brush this is again from Raphael but this time a little bit smaller flat brush to paint in the entire painting because I do want to make it loose and this will help me to not fiddle with the details I'm using the top of my brush the entire brush the belly of the brush and also the tip side of the tip of my brush you can see right now just I have twisted it slightly and using just the tip first the first that foliage I guess the grasses on the sides and now I'm just painting in the details on the sand some I guess shadows and I do want to make it look like there is some I guess um, hillish <laughs> hillish sand hillish beach so I'm just doing those curvy strokes to create the impression of the I guess that Dean Dean how it's that how that is called I'm sorry if I'm just messing around with my English but you know it is what it is so a little bit more of the blue for the water and you can see that I haven't again did too much details to the water and I'm not painting one wash of the water I've just added some I guess waves movement 
to my water. Also painting in the fence for the beach using a darker brown for the poles and then a lighter for the for the I guess the fence itself. And it doesn't have to be perfect. As I said, this is a loose painting. So we are just giving the impression of the of the things we want to put on our painting. And I do want to put in some definition to my beach. And so I've added a little bit more of the paint there. Just where it touched, touches the sea. And again, with that gray tone, I'm adding a bit more details to the grasses and a couple of splatters with that grayish tone. It's quite dark. I've mixed it quite dark. So I'm just going to splatter it. And then with the tissue paper, I'm going to pick up uh, the excess paint to make it a little bit lighter. Some of them are going to stay a bit darker. Some are going to be a little bit lighter. And I left it to dry completely. And now I'm going to do one thing that's going to change the entire painting, at least for me. I did glue a masking tape again, just underneath the horizon line. And with this lighter brown, I'm just adding it, adding one line, just the shine from the sun, I guess, at the, at the horizon line. And when it's dried fully, I just picked it up and it, for me, it just transformed the entire painting. I love it. It's just connected everything. So right now I'm just picking up a little bit of the paint and just to give it some a little bit more contrast highlights and shadows. So a little bit more of the yellow to create that, I guess, golden hour <laughs> and just here and there onto my beach just to make everything shine a little bit yellowish. And with that, I guess we are done with our beachscape and quite simple and easy and loose and fun project to do, fun painting to do, fun practice. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it. If you did, please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that a lot. There are many tutorials there, so I'm definitely sure you will find something for yourself. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.